Welcome to the shop. I'm Jared and this is Wrench Every Day. And we're not quite as upbeat as normal. Some of you may be aware, but a tragedy, well, a tragedy has come to the Wrench Every Day family. And I called my friends and they got here as quick as they could, a month, a month later. Well, thanks for getting here so quickly. <laughs> Four weeks, you know. Hey, I need help. We'll be right there. It wasn't going to get any less dead. No, but <laughs> I'd like driving it. Uh, okay. Uh, like, realistically, what, what happened? Uh, I was watching my evening cartoons on the TV. I had my bowl of vanilla bean ice cream with a little bit of that magic shell crust, the Reese's peanut butter that hardens when it touches the ice cream. Uh-huh. And I, like, scooped my first bite, and I heard a pop. Uh-huh. And then I, just a lot of crunches, a lot of crunches. Then I opened the front door and all I saw was tree where my cars were uh -huh. and where my house is. Was, was, there, <laughs> was there any scheduled storm or anything like that? The, the best part, it was a completely still day. Like it wasn't uh -huh. even breezy. Yeah. Uh, the tree just said, I'm done. What the real good fun was, was about 14 months ago, I had uh, four trees hit my house and mm -hmm. we had an arborist come out. Mm -hmm. Arborist is a tree doctor. And uh, they, they basically said, get rid of these and you should be good to go. So a perfectly healthy tree uh -huh. just <laughs> crushed you should, everything. You should go to that arborist and get your money back. I don't, like... <laughs> <laughs> I don't think they have warranties. Roadblock took the brunt of the entirety of the tree. We should find out how much this is actually going to take because I know you like the car and uh, a I, lot. I like the car too. Um, it's a we Dodge should, Charger. In, in order for us to find out how much this costs, uh, we, we got Jack here. Um, and the real Slim Shady. Yeah. Yeah. yeah Peyton, Peyton Manning. Peyton Manning. That, yeah, that's right. Mark Zuckerberg. Yes. Wait, uh, what? I like them all because they're rich and famous. So I'll take that. Okay. Okay. All right. Uh, so you are going to tell us uh, right now with your uh, with your laser eyes yes. uh, how much this is going to take to uh, fix. I mean, can you can you just yeah. give an estimate like that? Let's take some of this out and clean up the glass because there's going to be some stuff hidden underneath there that we need to see. So let's get that started now. Are you, are you sure? It, it was a hardwood that fell on it. Yeah, there's there's some damage there. Would it would it have been better if it was a pine? Yeah, an oak maybe. No, oak yeah, it, oak is a hardwood, Freddie. Oak is a type of... Oak is a type of hardwood. Arborists are bad people. <laughs> you know who aren't bad people? Today's sponsor, Sunday. They're gonna help you keep your lawn green. All right guys, so let me tell you about something very important and that is your lawn care. Here at Jared's shop, the lawn care is, well, it's non-existent because it's a shop. But editor Dwayne has a very nice lawn at his house and he wants to keep it looking as good as possible. So that's why he uses today's sponsor, Sunday. So Sunday is a subscription that combines unique data with cutting edge science to help you grow a better, greener lawn with mystery free ingredients like seaweed, molasses, and iron. Sunday uses soil, climate, and satellite data to model your lawn and build a custom plan just for your lawn. They'll also analyze the results of your personal soil test to zero in on any deficiencies and update your plan from there. That means that they tailor make a perfect lawn just for you. Sunday ships directly to your door and it takes about 10 to 15 minutes to spray the nutrients on your lawn. Then you can just sit back and watch it green. It is just that easy. I mean, seriously, watching grass grow is like the easiest thing anybody can do. And the process is very simple. First, you type in your address to start your lawn analysis. Then you get your customized lawn care plan in seconds. Then you get everything sent to your doorstep right when you need it. And then you attach the ready to use nutrient pouches to your hose and spray it. And it just takes 15 minutes. And after that, you can receive customized shipments throughout the year to keep your lawn looking fresh. Now to get your lawn to look as good as possible, 
Go to the link in the video description below and use code WRENCH20 at checkout to get 20% off your first order. That's the link in the description below. Go click it right now and WRENCH20 at checkout. Go check it out right now. Do we want to pull the tailgate or the hatch off and then vacuum or start vacuuming then? Let's start from... vacuuming now and then we'll pull the pillars, get whatever's out there and take the seats, vacuum the seats. All right. Do you think that it makes sense to save this and give this to people as mementos of this car? The broken glass from Roadblock. We're not Rob Dom. We're not going to mix it with our used motor oil, put it in a vial and call it unicorn piss or whatever he did. <laughs> That's a great idea. That's a great, we, but honestly, I think we should just send broken glass to our viewers. What do you th do you think that that's a good idea? People really like stuff, but I'd rather try not to give them things that will hurt them. Okay. Let's just put some of this stuff to the side, just just in case people want it. If you guys if you guys want some uh, broken glass from Roadblock, then write in the comments. I'd like some broken glass because I am an insane person. So uh, now you should use the Succomatic uh, 3000 over there. And you should wear some gloves, dude. Yeah, it's safety glass. Look, you just use this piece right here so that you're farther away and you, you don't have to worry about it. Okay. Oh. Is that how it works? Yeah. What happened? It's just sad. I like this car. Well, I mean... I, I told you, the, the arborist. Uh, I think that, that that was his fault. He, he came over and pushed the tree over. Yes. I don't like arborists either. Okay, good. Have you done this before? You're really good at it. I am. I am. I've handled a lot of wrecked vehicles. That's what he was talking about. So it seems like Roadblock is no longer watertight. Well, funny That's... thing, if you don't have glass and you know you're you're a little bit disjointed, you, you leak a little bit. Yeah, you know that's that's a normal to leak a little when you're older. Especially, yeah, when you're when you're a little bit older, this this kind of leakage is normal. Um, or when a tree falls on you. <laughs> are you dis are like you discouraged? This? I like this car a lot. Okay, Jack, you can tell us what's what's wrong with this car right now. So this car is. Pretty much trashed in the back, mm -hmm. and uh, it's gonna take quite a bit. There's like a lot of damage, as we can see here. Just you can see with the pillar being crushed down on top of the package tray, both sides of the package tray are pushed down. And the, that, this is the package tray, right? Yes where, yes. where there are no packages ever because the glass goes like this, and yeah, I don't correct. know what kind of package you can put and here. You have to remove the glass to put a subwoofer in. That's true. Yeah. Which is dumb. Yeah. Why? Yeah, yeah, a mighty small techniques. package, eh, Jack? Yeah. <laughs> fit, on, fit on that tray, just a small, just a small, that's a small package. So, Jack, uh, what do you think um, this car requires to be uh, OEM? Uh, a lot. Mm -hmm. <laughs> You're going to end up replacing, like, pretty much everything from here back. Uh, depending on what we find underneath here, which we'll look inside and take a look at that, but, but depending on what is damaged underneath, uh, it's gonna be quite a bit. The package tray being this stretched, this bent, that's probably gonna have to be replaced. Uh, all your structure that comes in here through your uh, tray area here mm -hmm. is all damaged and bent, so that's gonna have to be replaced. These are all serviceable parts, but the, the cost of it is gonna be, is, I don't know if it's gonna be worth it, honestly. It's gonna be worth it to you, right? It's absolutely, the provenance. Yeah. The almost movie car. Yeah, this has some movie car parts on it, and that makes it famous. And also, Jared likes it, so that makes it double it, famous. D double famous. Hey, you know? it's a Car Trek Eight stunt car. It makes an appearance. Okay. That 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 right there, that's million dollar territory. Right. So every car from Car Trek's worth a million dollars. Okay. On insurance. Uh, with everything that's damaged on this car and everything that's bad on this car, you're you're better off getting another car because the cost of it's going to be way high well so that's that's pretty good because you have you have a car or you have another car right 
I, I had. You what happened to it? Uh, well, it was already completely crushed, and I had a good working car, so I didn't think I needed it anymore. So I turned it into beer cans and got one hundred and sixty-four dollars for it. Okay, so here's a pro tip: if you have a parts car and you're willing to get rid of it, the second you get rid of it, you're gonna need that parts car again. Apparently so. Yeah. So here we have uh, the interior of a Dodge Charger. Yeah. Hey, Jack. What's up? Hi. So you can see your crinkle mark right here. Mm -hmm. Paint's broken. This whole thing is down. It's supposed to be flat. So this this is flat normally. This set doesn't have that curve that curves down like that. Mm -hmm. It's curved for sportiness. Yeah, yeah it's look at this. Oh, you come over here. Come look through this door. You got to see this over here. This is awesome. That side was hit way more. Look right there. She's a little bendy bendy. Oh yeah. Oh. <laughs> so that part right there is no good. Uh, mm -hmm. All the structure rigidity that is in this car is not retained anymore, and it's gonna have to. It's gonna need a, a pretty big surgery. So, Jared, she's built for speed. Curves. Okay. Or for air. Uh, let's clean this up a little bit more because we still have a, a lot of glass, and uh, oh, then that's... we can we can maybe take apart. Jack, is this good? Yeah, that's that's savable. That's that's fine. But like it folded and rolled. I'm... I'm sure you can call your Lebanese buddies up and they can help you out there. Right, so a professional body man would not just rely on what they can see, but they need to go sort of inside the structures, right? Yeah, absolutely. So if you look at the camera, we can see that's the quarter panel and that's the structure and that came down and contacted the structure. You can see a nice little kiss mark there. I'm gonna take a picture. Let's see, where is that? That's just some metal. See, that metal's totally fine. Oh, there's Oops. glass. Oh, yeah. Why is there glass? <laughs> glass is going to get everywhere all yeah, the time. Look at that right there. You see that major kink right there? All Go right. back to that view. Yeah, that, there we go. Oh, that. that that's, looks fine. Yeah, that's no good. Don't. <laughs> that, that, my friend, is broken. Don't kink shame. <laughs> see if we... that, was, that, was, that was a good joke. <laughs> <laughs> that was a good joke. Roadblo <laughs> Roadblock has a lot of kinks. <laughs> <laughs> it's got a lot. Mm, too many. But man, this I, I like this camera. We'll have a link to Amazon affiliate if you'd like to get a Teshlong NTS five hundred. So I've I've had a lot of bore scopes. I've paid a lot of money for bore scopes, and uh, this thing, I like the screen. It's ten eighty p too. Mm -hmm. Look at that hair. Wow. Hi. Oh, okay. <laughs> hey, it's Jack. <laughs> Yeah, so that's it. Okay. Totally that's, fine, right? Yeah, no, that's 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 really bad. Can you quit probing Roadblock to just come up with more problems? He's fine. You gave me the probe. I didn't tell you where to put it. All right, so I'm gonna count to three, and after three, we will say what we think this car is going to cost to repair. One, two, three. Fifty thousand. What? Uh, what? You might as well just buy a new car. Fifteen thousand? Yeah. Look, fifteen grand. Do you know how much this car costs? I know. This is That's French every day. It's not Tavarish, where everything's ten to fifteen thousand, <laughs> Mister Panel Bond Shady. Nobody knows what it takes to fix a car, and I just I know, so I'm not gonna fix it for free. Oh, we're. Are you? <laughs> Are you guys getting paid for this? <laughs> yeah. Wait a minute. <laughs> Hold on, what? <laughs> so the, the labor is probably going to be, I'd say, a, one third of the cost. Most of it's going to be parts. Yeah. Um, even using used parts, you're going to have a lot of labor in replacing those. So from a professional view, it's, it's going to be quite a bit. 
So you have uh, a decision to make because this car, although you've been driving it um, before the crash, I don't think you can drive it anymore. Uh, no, it, it doesn't meet safe. Georgia has pretty low, loose safety requirements, and uh, I, I think this is a little bit outside. Of there's no, rule. there's no back glass. There's really no back glass, and it leaks like crazy. So uh, you have to either fix this thing, which means getting another car, like a, a whole another car, or buying this uh, OEM from Dodge, which is going to cost you an arm and a leg, and you're probably going to need a lot of little nickel and dime parts. And if we get a whole nother car, why not just take the good parts? Exactly. And then you just do the entire thing that you've done with this car all over again. Another Charger body swap, which we're getting Th pretty good at. Third time's a charm, I, <laughs> I hear. You and, know. Uh, or, or you just get rid of it. You don't give up on your friends. You, are you sure? Because, I mean, this is... Oh, this uh, Boy, this is bad. <laughs> hey, his shirt says, Panel Beaters United. Mm -hmm. Motivate, learn, grow. Yeah, I, I'm gonna teach you guys how to get rid of this car. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay. Well, I'm gonna go for a drive, even though I probably shouldn't. But you're gonna go for a drive in in this car like this. Yep. Who's riding with? One, two, three, nine. Was that me or you? Look, see. <laughs> Roadblock is like, oh. like you just mat it and the thing is wiggling in the back. It is kind of sad though. I mean, such a nice car, man. It was going to be really cool when it's completed. I mean, it was cool kind of in its Harlequin state. Definitely. I will say the uh, exhaust fumes coming through the open window. <laughs> I don't know how road, roadkill guys have made it so many seasons because that's powerful. But I mean, like we're just cruising. It's like. It caught a tree, and it saved my house, and it protected the other two cars from major, major damage. Like, it, they still took a lot of damage. Does, doesn't it say protect and serve on the door? Yeah, absolutely. Just and, saying. It, and it says Fetty Say <laughs> on the gas cap. There you go. <laughs> and of course, everyone should always Fetty Say. That's exactly. Oh, what, wow. is, what is that? It was part of safety service something else whatever chp uses but oh yeah yeah yeah. the whole script but because we took just the gas door <laughs> all that's left is fetty say <laughs> i mean how many cars can catch a tree and track so good that's true it doesn't sound like the damage from the 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 sheet metal is causing anything to rub or have any issue there but it's just structurally it's the that's your issue. Well, it just doesn't make sense to keep chassis swapping cars. Yeah, it's a hard decision because I know you love the car. Yeah. And it, it, at its core, it's not a special thing. Yes, a lot of it is Need for Speed movie, a stunt car basically, a throwaway car. Part of it is a St. Augustine police car. It's a part wrench everyday car. It's part car track car. I feel like the journey of, of what happens with a car really is what makes you enjoy the car. Absolutely. You know, like, it's like the wrenching on the car from where it's a, a movie car that's not fixable to converting this into parts with the movie car and right. then driving all the different things that it's done. I mean, it went down yeah. the airstrip with Shmi. Yeah, we raced with Shmi and Freddie and, and his Hellcat again. We used, uh, well, and while it was down there, my friend blew up his car yeah, yeah. during sick week. It drove all the way through that. <laughs> and he borrowed this and ran sick week in this, got it impounded. We sprung it, <laughs> sprung it and got it out of uh, impounds. So, I don't know. It's, and then again, Car Trek season eight, you guys haven't seen that yet. It comes out and works in that. We've got a history with chargers. But, yeah. I mean, you and I disassembled and put yeah. one together in like a day. Yeah. Ready, set. Woo! -hoo 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 -hoo! <laughs> <laughs> it's, the, it's so fun. It just goes. Ah, there, there we go. Tire smoke. smoke. <laughs> oh, uh, oh, that's a good cloud of smoke. I'm glad there wasn't a sheriff <laughs> sitting there. I don't know. Let's get back to the shop. Yeah. But it feels like. 
the sane thing to do is just move on, but questionable choices. Yeah, yeah. I mean, maybe, you know, maybe in the future something else could be done. Find another charger and just start over, but I like this one. Yeah. There are many chargers. <laughs> <laughs> there are many like, but this one is mine. <laughs>